Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They've been playing well, really well. Winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Here we go, the final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the former Louisville Cardinal, Teddy Bridgewater. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. From the 27, Bridgewater looking left sideline incomplete. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. This crew against the pass issues at times, ranked number 24, Charles, in the NFL. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Johnson on the counter and an alley to run. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. First down, Bridgewater. Complete. It's Johnson. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. Bridgewater again. And that is incomplete here. The intended target, TJ Hawkinson. But now it'll be third down. 
They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To the air again with Bridgewater. Screen play, Johnson. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. The numbers a week ago for Johnson. 21 carries, 75 yards, and a touchdown. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So here come the Cardinals now for their first drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week. But all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' 35-yard line. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll run. This is Daryl Henderson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. On second down, Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, and it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll look to run with Henderson. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Daryl Henderson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. 
No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all polished off by Daryl Henderson's touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. On third down, Bridgewater. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Check 50, check 50. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Murray now on first down. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A go, nifty bit go. of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Second down, it's Henderson. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Let's go, D, tighten up. Let's go, D, tighten up. From the gun on third down, Murray. Open man here is Scott, complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Murray. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. He's at the 40. The 20. 10. And into the end zone. A scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. Big boy, earning his lunch. That's what you call rumbling with the ball, Charles. Big man with football. He wasn't just earning lunch, Brandon. He was earning <laughs> dinner. He was... <laughs> Midnight snack. <laughs> Everything that you could possibly do, he did it on that play to pick up the ball and go. 
Graham Gano on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it, because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side of the ball so that maybe some of these plays can turn into plays that maybe put them in the lead. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. On the draw, this is Henderson. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a... Ch oh, heavy lion pressure here, and they block it. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. On first down, it's Johnson, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and eleven. After the loss to start out, here's second and eleven. Johnson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Throwing Bridgewater. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Gano now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. That ball complete to Isabella. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And he powers his way up past the 30. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. Able to find Isabella. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. You know, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. On second and 12, Murray. 
Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gray. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. This one caught by Isabella. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Henderson now on first and 10. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't have been. And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe mm. a back, someone to help assist, because right now, their quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. That's Isabella open on the right side. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. And he is Isabella. His sixth touchdown of the season, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson, and he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. From just shy of midfield, Bridgewater, and this is going to be incomplete. The Lions on third down. They've converted four times out of six, not bad. This is third and eight. Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. For 
You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the magnitude of this game, everybody knows it. The fans, obviously, the players and coaches, there's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny. Win and you're in. And I think every player wants that. I think every coach wants that. I haven't been an organization yet that wants to be in a game where they have to rely on other teams to get them to, to their goals. In this situation, it's very cut and dry. Win and you're in the playoffs. That's their mission. That's their challenge. And you know they've chosen to accept it. And what they told us is this has been the most focused week of practice we've had all year. You wouldn't expect any different. Yeah, and you know, at the beginning of the season, you have multiple goals. They just have one now. Win the game. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Murray, David Johnson here on the catch. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Here's Henderson, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Murray now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trey Flowers, it's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. Throwing is Murray on third down. Got an open man. It's Scott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Murray going to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. Well, to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Murray now to throw over the middle. That's hauled in by Isabella. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Shotgun now for Murray. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Murray, and under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Grady Jarrett racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. 
And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. Now maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you get the second half to play. And we focus on Duke Johnson now. Now, looky there. He's getting close to 1,000, I'm sure. He knows where he stands. I bet the off, well, if the offensive line didn't know, he made sure they knew. <laughs> I'm closing in, guys, final week of the season. You know who really informed the offensive line? The offensive line coach. Okay. Because it's a big deal for his unit as well to be able to say, hey, we escorted guys to 1,000 yards or more in a season, just like blocking for a 3,000-yard or 4,000-yard passer. So he, it's a lot of pride on the line, and his pride is paramount because he wants to be able to join that pantheon of guys that in the NFL ran for 1,000 yards or more in a season. Pride on the line. I see what you did there. You like that? To throw once more on second and 10. Bridgewater. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, looks like an extra step was involved. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thank you as always. Welcome into our final regular season edition of our halftime report playoff lives hanging in the balance as we take you around the nfl one final time Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game, it's Teddy Bridgewater with a standout first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a pick up of six. Brings up second Back to the ground. This time, Cook. That's it. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense, and it worked very well there for a first down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. First down, Murray escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 
Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Murray again, second and ten. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. That one good for 26 and a first down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Running from the gun, Johnson. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll try to throw here now. Bridgewater, incomplete. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. This will be caught at about the five. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 
So it's his third field goal now with a ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Now Murray off play action. A bullet throw, but incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. This is taken around the 12. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Throwing on second and 14, Bridgewater. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Bridgewater. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. A well-executed 22-yard gain. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten to throw Bridgewater. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Johnson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker you position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. Here's a first and ten now after they successfully drew him off sides. Here's Bridgewater. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go play action. Bridgewater steps away. He'll try and run it. He's got the first down here. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. Oh, that's me. That's he gained really good yardage, but that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A carry by Henderson to start the drive. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. 
Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. On play action, it's Murray. On the crossing route, complete. It's Gray. A gain there of 21 yards. I feel for some of these guys nowadays because it is so tough to be able to run with these tight ends. Their speed, their elusiveness, especially when they run across the field, because you're not just running with him, you're trying to run through some traffic as well. Murray now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven, it's first and 10. Throwing on first down is Murray. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Here's a throw out wide, complete to his running back right side. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. You got nothing. On third down, Murray complete. It's Johnson. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. A good rally to the football holds him to two, and that brings up a fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give them seven there on the first down carry. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. On second down, Johnson. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. And he's going to have the first down as he's marked down just shy of the 20. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. The safety, Buda Baker, there to force the incompletion. On second down, Bridgewater again. And his throw is incomplete. The Lions on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 10. Bridgewater again. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. 
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is going to be third and 13. This one caught by Isabella. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And Detroit getting set to go now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw is Bridgewater. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the passer, defense. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Come on, baby. Let's go. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion, but you have to know where the sticks are on third down. Didn't get beyond them, no pickup. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball... When and this will be caught at the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. The intended receiver was David Johnson. And now it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Murray. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Third and two, and here's Murray. 
And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Bullock good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. To throw again on second down, Bridgewater. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Dumping it off for Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A first down throw for Bridgewater. Screenplay, Johnson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing is Bridgewater. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. On first down, Johnson. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Play fake. Bridgewater. Open man. He's got him. The tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. They begin the drive with Johnson, and he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now run with Henderson. Oh, what a move. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. To throw is Murray. Over the middle complete. That's great. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run with Henderson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A couple of first downs as the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. They will take the knee here and they will finish this regular season with a victory. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the Cards, they will indeed finish over 500 at 9-7. and seven. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better-than-average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for the Lions, it'll be a 10-loss season as they wrap up 6-10. and 10. And I think you have to say, ultimately, this was a team that really underachieved. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.